we need to simplify the given logarithmic expression. So let us begin. To begin with, what we will do, for the first term, we are going to use a property a times log of b, so that's equals to log of b raised to the power of a. So what we will do here is we'll take half and we will raise it as the exponent of 25. So we have 25 raised to the power of half. Similarly, for the second term, we have log of 3 squared plus log of 18. So we know that 2 times 9 is 18. So we have 2 times 9. So 9 can be also expressed as 3 squared. Right. Now, what is log of 25 raised to the power of half? So 25 is 5 squared. So we have 5 squared raised to the power of half minus log of 3 squared plus log of 2 times 3 squared. So that means we have log of 5 whole raised to the power of 2 times 1 half. We'll write this third term as the second term. We have log of 2 times 3 squared minus log of 3 squared. The 2 and half gets multiplied to give us 1. So we have log of 5 plus log of 2 times 3 squared minus log of 3 squared. Right. Now, for the first term and the second term, we're going to combine these two logarithms using the property, the log of a plus log of b, that's equals to log of a times b, which means we should get log of 5 times 2 times 3 squared. We have negative log of 3 squared. Now, we can combine these two logarithms by using the property log of a minus log of b as log of a over b means exactly the same thing. So this will give us log of 5 times 2 times 3 squared divided by 3 squared. So we have 3 squared and 3 squared cancelling out 5 times 2. So that's log of 10. And we know the value of log of 10 that's equals to 1. So this is the value of our given logarithmic expression with a value equals to 1.